Hi guys, so this is part two of the reading that I just did. I put it up about 30 minutes ago, but you don't need to watch that reading necessarily to resonate with this message. I mean, you can just start it from this part right here. It doesn't, it doesn't matter either way, but that reading probably will resonate with you if this one does as well. Like you'll probably still be in that energy group. So anyway, in the first reading, just to recap really quick, I was getting that someone was basically trying to trigger you. They were trying to get a reaction out of you, trying to make you jealous, trying to hurt you, trying to um, maybe play hard to get or ignore you. It's like they were trying to get your attention in really toxic ways because they're used to women that are more insecure or more naive. They're used to that working for them. So in the past, it's like if they made a woman jealous, that woman would compete for them and try to prove themselves to them and, and try to, you know, show them that they're better than the other woman and that they should choose them instead. Or if they ignored a woman, it would make her try harder to get his attention and, and she would like blow up his phone or, or his messenger or whatever else. But I feel like with you, it was very different. Like you didn't do any of those things. And actually it had the opposite intended effect. It actually really turned you off. And I think at this point, you're like, well, this man might must not even like me. He's probably not interested in me. Um, it looks like he's happier with that other girl. Like instead of trying to prove yourself, you were just like, well, I guess he's happy with that girl. I guess I'll have to let him go, even if it hurts. Um, it's like it, it just it had the opposite intended effect. Like he was really trying to get you to chase him. He was trying to psychologically manipulate you and uh you know, trigger you into reacting, trigger you into this, this kind of a, like a codependent pattern with him, you know, like trigger, like he thought that he's, he's one of those people that thinks that people just want what they can't have and playing hard to get makes you want someone more, but it's not the case with you. If someone plays hard to get with you, I feel like you actually want that person even less. Um, or you just assume like you, you know, you take it at face value and you're just like, okay, I guess this person doesn't like me. I guess they don't want to be with me. There's nothing I can do then. So anyway, that's that was what we got into in that last reading that I just put up about 30 minutes ago is, you know, going into his intentions and his mentality. He's actually very worried about your perspective and your mentality now about how you're going to see him since he realizes that you're not like girls that he's dated in the past. You don't you know, those games don't work on you. Now he's actually kind of starting to worry because he's like, well, shit, how does she see me? You know, like, like making her jealous didn't make her want me more. It didn't make her chase me or compete. How, how does she see me now then? Like, how does, does she think I'm toxic? Does she know that I even have feelings for her? Like, does she want me? It's like, he's very confused and really in his head right now, trying to figure out how you view him. And also, you not giving into that pattern also showed him that uh, it, it made him face himself. It made him realize that that pattern is toxic because, again, it, before it's like that pattern was. And I don't want to reiterate too much, you know, for those of you that are coming from that that first video. We're going to get into it in just a minute. But it's almost like it, it forced him to look at himself because that pattern worked on other women. So he had it. It was like justified for him. You know what I mean? Like playing mind games, making people jealous. It's like it was justified because it worked on them. So he's like, okay, this is how relationships work. This is this, you know, this is okay. But since it didn't work on you, it just really hurt you. It really broke your heart. But you didn't chase him or want him more. You just really felt, you know, like maybe you just kind of isolated yourself or felt like you couldn't trust him or you just felt very sad. And that kind of made him like look in the mirror and be like, oh, shit, I've been kind of an asshole. Like maybe I need to work on that, you know. Um so where we're at now is these two cards right here. And I had a whole spread in that first video. So if you're coming from that video, you know what that, that whole spread was, where it was almost like this person got tired of, um, they got impatient, they got bored, they got tired of waiting, tired of playing those games. It's like they were trying to be strong and hold back. And I almost feel, okay, so what I'm feeling is for some of them, they're unfortunately going to try to get your attention in an even more toxic way. And that's really going to backfire on them even more than it already has. They're like, okay, these little games didn't work. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, 
I'm going to do something big. I'm going to make some big grand gesture, but in a negative way almost to get this person's attention, to get a reaction from them. This also, all, both these readings also kind of probably go hand in hand with that energy group of, um, like I think it was like less than a week ago, I was getting that energy of someone trying to prove to themselves that you're not the queen of cups, you're not the empress. Like you couldn't possibly be this perfect, you know, like they were trying to prove to themselves so that they felt like it was like justified for them to sabotage this relationship. But I do feel like this person's going to make changes. For some, they've already hurt you enough and they've already, it's already been proven to them that you really are the Queen of Cups. You really are the Empress. And they are looking in the mirror now and kind of feeling like, hey, I've been kind of a dick. I need to work on myself. Like, I, you know, I, it's like you've changed their perspective. Um, for others, unfortunately, I feel like they're going to do something big. There's going to be some kind of big betrayal here, and sadly. Um, to get her to try to get a reaction out of you. And I think that's when you're just going to be like, fuck this person. Like they obviously really do not care about me. Like you're not going to trust them. You're going to see them differently. And that's when they're going to look in the mirror. Um, so like I said, some of them are already looking in the mirror and making those changes. Others, they're going to have to betray you first in, a, in an even bigger way, unfortunately, before they finally see how much they've hurt you and how much they've almost changed your perspective of them. And then that's when they're going to look in the mirror and they're going to be like, okay, like I, I do not want to be this person. I've been kind of a, a douchebag or a bully. Like I want to work on myself. Um, and I think at that point they're going to come in with an apology. And I feel, I feel like most of you will accept the apology, but I mean, I feel like if they do, if if they are in that, there's two storylines here. So if they do go through with this major betrayal, it's, you. I feel like you'll forgive them because you do care about them. But I feel like a lot of trust is going to be broken. Like you're not going to, um, you're not going to feel as safe with them. I almost feel like your energy kind of craves them now. Like your energy, maybe less than before, but I feel like your energy still calls out to this person where you want to trust them. You want to be safe with them. You want to be vulnerable with them. You want to be open with them. Like you want to be taken care of. You want this person to be someone you can trust. You want this person to be a safe space for you. And I feel like if they do go through with this, it's going to change your perspective on them. Um, So I'm just going to do this reading as like one overall storyline. So use your intuition because the first part of the story is going to be what this betrayal is, what, you know, what's going to go down with this betrayal. Um, and then the second part of this storyline is going to be like what happens afterwards, like if they're apologizing or how, you know, what their perspective is going to be, how they're going to feel, how you're going to feel, whatever else, just whatever the cards want to say about it. Um, so either this whole storyline is going to resonate with you or the second part is, and you can just discard this, this current part that I'm about to do, which is about the betrayal. And, and the rest of the storyline is, is where like, you'll just skip that part. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, cause not all of you are getting betrayed, but some of you are unfortunately. And I feel like you probably feel it if you are. It's like this person is like getting annoyed that they're not getting, they want wish fulfillment with you. They want love, but it's like they're going about getting it in very toxic ways. And so I almost feel like. I don't know. Let me see. What is this person? What is this betrayal? What is this betrayal that this person is considering? I feel like you'll just intuitively know, like you'll have an off feeling, like you'll feel kind of tense, like you'll feel like something's coming. You'll feel like you have to, if you're part, if you're part of the energy group that is getting betrayed, I almost feel like you might just have that energy of like, like your body feels tense. Like you feel like something's off. Like you feel like you can't trust people right now. What is this betrayal that they're going to do to get your attention? Okay, what's hidden? What's hidden? Tell me more about what's hidden here.
Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Tell me what this is. For some, I almost feel like... It, it's, I feel like it's going to be a combination of anger and frustration because, okay, so like in that first reading, what we were picking up is, you know, like we've talked about, like, you know, this, this man was trying to get your attention in all the worst ways and it backfired. It actually really just turned you off and made you feel like, you know, you couldn't trust him or it made you feel like, you know, even though you have feelings for him, you feel like he must not have those same feelings for you. Um, and so you've been almost moving away from it where you're like, well, I don't want to bother this man. I don't want to irritate this man if he's not interested in me. Um, if he's choosing another girl, even though it hurts, I'm going to respect that. It, it's like you're moving away from this man because you feel like he just doesn't have those feelings for you. Um, for some of them, I feel like they're going to be too prideful because they're worried right now. They're Again, they're worried about how you view them. I know I'm reiterating it, but I have to like I'm going back into it so I can explain this energy. But for some of them, it's like they're worried about how you're going to view them. They're worried about you, um, you know, if, if you if you see them as toxic or you see them as this or that. And they kind of feel you moving away from them. And so it's like they want to prove to themselves that you still care, but they're too prideful to just reach out and be like, hey, I'm sorry. Like, I actually do like you back. I've just been kind of a dick and I'm I'm working on it, you know, like just own it. Just that's that's like the most attractive. That's one of the most attractive things on a man is a man that takes accountability, a man that's willing to put himself out there and be vulnerable and apologize and just be like, hey, I was kind of a dick. I'm sorry, though. Like, I want to make it better. I want, you know, do you want to go hang out? Do you want to go out for coffee and talk? Like, I promise I'm not usually like this. Like, I'm sorry. I kind of messed up. I'm you know, just, just own it. But, but for some of them, it's like, they're going to be too prideful to do that. So they're going to do something really big, like a deer in headlights moment where they want to see you upset so that they know for sure that you haven't just moved on from them. Cause right now they're not sure they're like, well, she's not really trying very much anymore. So maybe she's, maybe she's moving on. Like some of them are going to do something big. And I think it involves like trying to sabotage something that you've actually been working hard towards. Mm -hmm. or trying to put you down in some way it's like it's sad because I don't feel like this person is like toxic but they're choosing to be toxic and so you're going to end up seeing them as toxic because they're choosing that toxicity does that make sense it's almost like like at first I think you saw this person like for who they really are deep down like you felt like you guys could be a power couple like you wanted them to be a source of support for you like you wanted deep connection with them but even if you see that potential deep down even if you see who they are on a deeper level even if you know their soul if they're showing you these toxic behaviors again and again and again and consciously like they keep doing the same shit over and over again, eventually you're just going to take it at face value and be like, okay, I guess I was wrong. I guess, I guess this person really is just toxic and that connection I thought we had isn't real, you know, but it is real. Like there is real love here, but I, I feel like eventually you're, you're not going to believe in it. Tell me about the Son of Cups. Empress, Nine of Pentacles, Death. You've gone through a lot to have peace and stability in your life. Ugh, I don't like this energy. This is some bullshit. This person wants to disturb your peace, honestly. They want to disturb you. They want to... I don't want to say they, they want to make you cry because that sounds so evil to be like they want to make you cry. But it, it's kind of like that, honestly, because they want... It's not that they want to see you hurt. It's that, again, it's like they're prideful. They don't they don't know how to apologize. And I'm not making excuses for this person. Like, you know, don't shoot the messenger. I am just telling you what I'm feeling from this person's, from, from their perspective, from what they're, they're feeling, they're thinking, from your thoughts and feelings. I'm not saying that this is okay. I'm just telling you what is going on here. You know what I mean? Like, don't get mad at me for it. Um, like this is, this is fucked up. I'm not saying that there, there's no excuse for this. There's no, no matter how damaged someone is, there's no excuse for doing this to somebody. 
Um, you have worked very hard towards something, whether it's career, business, um, a hobby, a love, new relationship. There's something really important to you in your life that you've worked hard for. What do they feel like they get out of this? What the fuck? I just feel like you're the empress and you've worked really hard to be the empress. And they're trying to take away that peace and stability. For some, this could actually be a new relationship coming in and they're trying to sabotage that new relationship. Like they're trying to stop this person from coming towards you. Like they're trying to tell this person like, oh, she's crazy or she's got another boyfriend or she's a player um like they might see someone could be someone they know even or it's like they they see someone like interested in you and they're like oh don't go for her that's a bad idea like you you don't want that like you don't want to go for that they're trying to stop you from moving on from them and they're trying to buy themselves time but it's like the only it, this isn't this is going to backfire even worse because i almost feel like you're you're not going to this is going to hurt you. And I, I, I'm sorry. I hate, I know I hate giving these readings. I'm sorry, guys, but it, I have to tell you, you guys, you need these warnings. You know what I mean? Like it sucks, but, and I don't think that they can take this happiness or stability away from you. Like, I think if they do go through with this betrayal, like it's really going to hurt. Like you're going to have a bad couple days where you're going to be, where you're going to be in tears, but I don't think I, they're not going to be able to take something that's meant for you. You know what I mean? Like they might cause a bump in the road, but like, let's say that they block new love from coming in. It's like, there might be some miscommunication between you and this new love, but this new love will, the miscommunication is going to be cleared up. Or if it's like career or hobbies or something like that, or, or a friendship they're trying to sabotage or whatever toxic thing they're trying to do, it's going to be different for all of you. So take it as it resonates. But whatever it is, it's it's like it's it's not gonna um it's not gonna go the way that they think it's gonna go. Because I honestly I think you're gonna be heartbroken, honestly. I, I do think you're gonna be very hurt by this. But I don't think they're hoping that you're gonna cry in front of them. They're hoping that you're they might even be trying to get you to run towards them because I do feel different motives here. So it's like for some of them, they're trying to take away something that makes you happy because they're jealous of that thing that makes you happy again I'm not saying this is okay like I feel like someone's I can feel someone's anger I'm like dude I'm not doing it okay I'm just the messenger okay blame your person don't blame me I'm just telling you what's out here okay guys um for some it's like you have something that makes you happy and it's it's almost like they're gonna try to take that away so that they're your only happiness, you know what I mean? So that you go crying to them and it's like you don't have anybody else to turn to um, for some. For others, I just feel like they want that reaction out of you. They want to trigger you and upset you. They want you to, even if it's anger, it's like they want you to message them. They just, they want communication with you and they want to see if you care about them. But they're not... And it's like you would express feelings towards them in a positive way if they expressed feelings first. You know what I mean? Like if they were to just message you and say, hey, how do you feel about me? You'd probably be like, hey, I really like you. I want to I want to be closer to you. You know what I mean? Like if they came about it in a positive way, like you would actually express those feelings. So it's like they're trying to get you to express feelings in a really toxic way. Um like why why do they want you to it's like they want you to lose like you you've worked so hard for something and there's something that's making you happy and they want you to lose that whether it's love or a, a hobby or something else it's different for everybody what do they think that's what I'm kind of baffled by like what do they think happens when you cry like what if you cry in front of them like what I mean you know you come in crying to them that makes sense but like what what do they expect to gain out of that exactly Truth and clarity. Ten of swords. Page of cups. Yeah, they think that if you're um they think that if you go through this ten of swords, you'll take their little love offer. They're not coming to you as like a knight or a king. They're coming to you as a page. And the pages are 
you know, they're the messengers of the deck, but they're also known to be the children of the deck. It's like the youngest of the court cards. It's a younger male energy, and they could just be, yeah, this could be someone who's immature, who's acting immature. Maybe they have maturity deep down, but they're choosing to make these immature decisions. So they feel like if you go through that Ten of Swords, you know, you're going to be more open to accepting this little page of cups, this little offer, you know, like they're not going to have to apologize or, or put themselves out there too much. It's like you're going to be, their, their little breadcrumbs are going to be enough for you, you know? Like, let's say you have a hobby or passion that's really starting to take off. You know, you're getting off the ground or a career that's getting off the ground where, well, in their mind, it's like if you get too excited and too happy about it, it's like they see you going on and living this whole other life without them. They see that whatever that is, they feel like it would take you in this new direction away from them. So they're trying to like intervene and block that. They don't want you to go down that other path away from them. They don't want you to... They, they almost want to keep you to themselves for some too. It's like maybe whatever this, um, if this is like a hobby or something, it's like maybe it would really um, showcase like your, your light, your potential, your energy, like you'd be in the spotlight. And it's like they don't want other people to like recognize what they see in you. You know what I mean? Like if they see you as this empress, you're glamorous, you're beautiful, you're fun, you're attractive, you're intelligent you're all these amazing things it's like they don't want other people to realize that about you they don't want other people to see those things in you and give you love offers they're trying to limit you so that you don't get other offers whether it's money love whatever else just in general in your life it's like they're trying to block these offers um <coughs> sorry So that, uh, you know, it's like their tiny little page of cups offer this little half ass offer. It's, it's not even like a full commitment. It's just a half ass offer. It's going to seem enough to you because you're not going to have all this other energy in your life. You know what I mean? Like you're going to be at that lower level where you're not really getting ahead. So it's like what they offer you is going to seem bigger than it really is. Um, there is multiple motives. I mean, there's that. There's also the whole thing I was saying about them just, you know, they want to upset you so that you come crying to them so that you lean on them and, and you rely on them and they, they feel needed. They feel, um, important to you. Like they, you know, it's really weird because normally if I got this energy, I would just be like, fuck this person run for the hills. But it's, it's, it's like, I don't know. It's like, I really, and I'm not excusing this behavior. Like, this is toxic as hell. But I, I honestly, for most of you, I do feel like this person is a good person deep down. It's like they just have these really immature, they, they just need to relearn some things. You know, like, I do feel like this person is like an old soul. Like, they don't act like it. But I really do feel like this is an old soul or someone that does have a good heart deep down. But... I almost feel like they have these abandonment issues and it's like these abandonment issues make them into someone they're not. You know what I mean? Or it's like they don't, maybe in the past it's like, and again, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to make excuses for this person. I'm just saying what I feel from these, from this energy group. Um, I'm not saying it's okay for them to be like this, but it is how they are. But I, I feel like maybe their abandonment issues in the past, it's like... Maybe they've been rejected like in childhood by people they loved, people they really relied on, maybe by significant others. Like they've just been left out in the cold. They've been rejected. So they do have a really hard time being vulnerable and gentle and just expressing love and just saying, I'm sorry, like saying, I love you. Um, I'm hearing that Tracy Chapman song, Baby, Can I Hold You Tonight? Like that's, I like that song. It's a good song, but that just came to mind. Um, anyway. So I almost feel it, it's like they're begging for your love, but they're going about it all the wrong ways. Like this person really does love you. It's it's not like, I, I guess what I'm saying is that this person's intention is love. You know what I mean? Like this isn't one of those psychopathic people, this, you know, sociopathic people, like, you know, one of those sick, twisted people that just love seeing people in pain or they just love playing games because they love the control. I, I'm not getting this that energy. I'm getting that this person is practically begging for your love. 
they're just going about getting your love in all the wrong ways. Does that make sense? Um, it's like this person's inner child is very wounded. It's like these, these, they have a good heart deep down, but it's like these abandonment issues just really turn them into someone else. They, these abandonment issues when they act up, it's, it's almost like it makes them angry and I'm not getting abusive vibes. Like I, I would never like never go for an abuser. If a man hits a woman, he'll hit her again and again. Like, don't, don't go for abusers. Like uh, this isn't like a, this is not an abuser I'm channeling. If you're with an abuser, run. I don't give a shit if it's this person or not like run. Like I don't, I'm not, I'm not feeling the energy of like an abuser. You know what I mean? And I would never try to justify something like that. So I don't get like physical abuse or anything horrible like that. It, it's more just this energy of like their inner child is like begging for love. But it, it's like, you know, in a, you know, like a, like, I'm, I'm not saying that they're like, like, I'm not trying to say they're a child, but like, you know, you like have empathy for this person. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's like. You know, like a little boy that like gets frustrated and hurt when he can't get his mom's energy and he's like pulling at her sleeve and she's talking on the phone and or she's talking to her friend at the grocery store and he gets more frustrated and he's like, I just want my mom's attention. Like I and he pulls harder and harder and harder until he hurts her arm. It's like he he's not trying to hurt her. He's not his intention is not to hurt her. He's begging for her attention. He's begging for for love. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like how I, this is like that energy I feel from this man. It's, it's like, again, I'm not saying it's okay. It is something that he's going to have to work on. He can't be doing this shit to you. It's not, it's not cool. But, but what I'm saying is, is again, the intention is love. The intention is not, even if he's trying to cause pain for whatever reason, the intention is still love. It's still to, to pull you back. It's still to just be loved by you. You know what I mean? It, it's like he, deep down, he does want to be gentle. He does want to be vulnerable with you. That was so weird. I felt like the energy of someone standing next to me when I said that. It kind of tripped me out a little bit. I'm like, uh, fuck. <laughs> oh my gosh, sorry. It just, I don't know. Like it, 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 not. It really does make me like, like, it makes me emotional, like tuning into this energy because it's like, he's, he's really asking for love, even if he's going about it all the wrong ways. But, um, I just feel like, I feel like there's such a strong desire to not be like this either. You know what I mean? Like, I, I also feel like this is someone who actually is capable of changing because they do have emotional depth, like they are wise, they are mature, even though they don't act like it, because I almost feel like it's someone who acts like a dick towards you, or they act cold or neglectful, or they say things that they don't mean, but then they go home and they like are upset about it. And they're like, damn it, that's not me. Like, why did I do that today? Like, why did I ignore that message? Or like, why did I? Why did I tell her something that's completely not true? Like, why did I tell her I'm dating someone when I'm not dating anybody? Or like, why did, why was I mean to her? Like, I don't want to be like that. Like, that's not who I am. It's like, this man is really like, he's, he's really hurt. He's really in a lot of pain. He's really wanting to be his true self. Like he's not wanting to, this image that he presents, the, the way that he is, he doesn't like being that way. Like he actually really does have the desire to change himself. So you know, this isn't one of those like, nar this is this is not one of those like narcissistic douchebags who just goes home and they don't feel any empathy and they don't see the error of their ways. And they're just like, eh, as long as I win, fuck everyone else as long as I win. Like, that's not this energy. This is someone who like when they act like this, it hurts them. Like it hurts their soul. It hurts their heart. Like they see themselves doing it and they almost feel this person could even have like a demonic attachment or something. Because it almost feels like they, they're seeing someone else do these things. You know what I mean? They're like, they say something to you. They're like, why the fuck did I say that? Like, I don't, I didn't mean that. Or like they do something and they see the pain that it causes you. And they're like, I don't ever want to cause her pain. Like, why am I doing this? You know, it's like they have these inner childhood wounds. It's like, again, their intention is love. Everything they're doing, all this bullshit is all, it's all just asking for love. It's just asking to be seen and heard and loved. Um, 
but they need to go about asking in a better way. They need to, because you're not going to understand that. You know what I mean? Like you might understand it while you're watching this reading. You might have more empathy for this person, but you know, when you're face to face with them and they're bullying you or saying things they don't mean, or they're ignoring your messages when you've had a bad day and you really just want to talk to them, you're not going to see it that way. You're going to be like, you know, like, damn, I can't trust this person. This person doesn't care about me or this person isn't supporting me. You know what I mean? And I feel like you guys almost mirror each other in a way where you might have the same abandonment issues as well. And it's like you also, like you might be coming off cold and distant and guarded as well. Um, and it's like neither of you are wanting to break, neither of you are wanting to, to speak first, but you're both just wanting this very pure, innocent love together. Like you're both just wanting to connect with each other on a deeper level. You know, like you guys are both really just wanting gentleness with each other. You're both really wanting love with each other, but your your egos are not allowing it. You know what I mean? It's like what you guys really feel for each other is is not what you guys show each other on the physical, you know, through your facial expressions or your words. You're, you're not what you really feel. The love that you really have for each other is not being expressed on either end. Um. Anyway, so I don't want to make this too long. There's just something innocent about this person. There's there's something that is very there is this broken inner child. You know what I mean? It's it's like I always tell people like not to get into that like whole beauty and the beast mentality of I can fix him but it's like oh my gosh this is like one of those storylines where it like does tug at your heartstrings and you're like damn it like these are two really good people that are, are just not expressing their true feelings to each other you know but there is mutual love here um Tell me, okay, sorry, I got way off track there for a minute, sorry. Yeah, there's a few different reasons for them sabotaging this. Um, like I said, for some, it's like they just, they want, they want you to come crying to them, or they want their little offer, their little tiny love offer, their, their, you know, it's, it's not even a, a full apology, but they want you to accept it. And they know you're not going to accept it if you go down this other path. For others, I feel like there's multiple reasons here. There could even be other reasons that I haven't listed. For others, I really do feel like they want to see you cry, but it, it's not in like a it's it, like, again, this person's not like sociopathic or psychopathic. Like, it's not like they want to see you hurt, but they want proof that you care about them. So they might almost betray you to like, see if you cry in front of them. You know what I mean? Like they might do something to hurt you and then look at your facial expression to see if you're hurt or to see if you just don't give a shit anymore. You know, like bringing another girl around you or something of that sort where you're just like, dude, what? Like... They, they want to see the look in your eyes to to sh prove to themselves, you know, to see if you still care. <clears throat> I feel like there's like an offer or there's something that's meant for you and they can't take it away from you. But I almost feel like they're trying to turn this really good offer for you that's destined for you into something small, into like breadcrumbs. You know what I mean? Like if you have like a new career or a new start somewhere it's like they want to take that and like make it smaller than what it was originally meant to be. Does that make sense? Like they're causing this conflict in your life. I feel like it's going to hurt you a lot, honestly. I'm sorry, but I, I feel, oh my gosh, sorry guys. I feel like it's going to hurt you a lot. It's really going to put you in your head. You're going to feel very betrayed. You're going to, it's like you have love for this person and you're not going to know what to do at first. And I feel like you're going to hold on to this betrayal for a little bit too. Like you're going to, it's going to take some time to really forget about this. Tell me more about this betrayal. Like what are they intending to do to you?
they want to make you vulnerable because they see you are this queen of swords now. They see that you're not tolerating their mistreatment of you anymore. And so they want to break you down and make you, you know, more in this like six of cups energy. What are they intending to do? I just feel like it's going to be different for everyone. There's so many different ways that it could play out. But like the overall storyline I see here is something that you've really worked for. It could just be your general peace that they're going to just try to disrupt your peace and just try to make you feel insecure. It could just be it could be career. It could be like a job or something that you're really excited about. Um, it could be like a new friendship or it could be like a new romantic relationship where they're going to tell this person lies about you or something because they want they don't want you moving on with this person away from them. Um, or it's like an offer that's meant for you and they're going to try to like block this offer or they're going to try to make it like, um, I don't know, how, it's, it's like I, I don't feel them fully blocking it, but they're like trying to lessen the offer. How do I even explain that? Like. I don't even know how to word that properly. Um, like maybe they know they can't block it from you, but they're trying to make it like less exciting or less interesting for you or something. You know what I mean? Ugh. Huh. Yeah, they see an offer coming forward towards you like they have information about it whether they're picking up on it telepathically or someone's told them it's like there's something there's something that's destined for you again different stories here love money a new hobby a new friendship something here that's that you've been working towards something new in your life that's making you happy that they want to like manifest like the magician, they want to manifest it actually being a loss to you or it not being as, as good as you would ho had hoped that it would be or something like that. This could even be like for those of you that are in that energy group of, um, remember what was like a week, week and a half or so ago, I was doing that reading where I was feeling like there, there are these two people that are gossiping. One of them is kind of innocent, but one of them is actually really toxic um, and I feel like this man was like wanting to message you, but he was being blocked by this third party. He wasn't reaching out. He, um, it's like, he didn't know what to say to you or he didn't know how to like get past this third party. And he was kind of going along, like almost like talking shit, like going along with her, with what she was saying, even though he didn't believe in it to avoid the drama or, you know, whatever else to save face. It could be something like that, like a rumor that maybe she starts a rumor and he actually doesn't have your back and he goes along with that rumor um, or he talks shit. But I honestly, in because in that reading, like if that if that's your storyline, I would go back and check that reading too. <coughs> And that fake shallow woman that I channeled that was like dragging him into the drama and like gossiping about you with him or what whatnot. I feel like she is going down. She has a lot of bad karma. There's spirit guides around her that are about to take her ass down. Like it's not going to be pretty for her. So if he does gossip or lie about you to other people with her, if he goes along with that, if he does not have integrity, if he really betrays you like that, there he's going to go down with her. He's going to have bad karma with her. They're both going to look bad. And they're both going to um, pay the consequences. Like, I, I feel like, I almost feel like this energy of divine intervention where he's going to have to suffer that karma with her if he chooses to go along with that. Like, if she, if this woman that hates you has, like, an idea of how to backstab you and he sees it as, like, an opportunity to get a reaction out of you and he goes along with it, he he's gonna get exposed with her like she's gonna end up it's gonna backfire on her she's gonna look really bad but I feel like he's also gonna look really bad like they're both gonna look like horrible people 
you know, she's actually a bad person. He's not really a bad person, but he's this, this energy we were talking about, you know, um, but he's going to look like a bad person and he's going to lose friends or lose something for it. Whatever they try to do to you is going to come back on them. So if it's like a work situation where they try to get you in trouble with the boss, I feel like the, the boss is going to recognize that they're gossiping and talking shit and causing drama. And he's actually going to get them in trouble instead. And you're going to, you're going to be successful, you know, or if it's like a friendship group where, um, they're talking that they're both talking to mutual friends about you. Um, I, I feel like they're going to get caught up. They're both going to get exposed together. He's going to go down with her if he decides to go down that karmic path and, and, and they're both going to get exposed. So it's like, maybe they talk shit to this friend group and, um, one of the friends calls them out and is like, no, I know she's not like that because I've known her for years. Or like, I like they, they get caught in like a lie. Like they get exposed the divine, like this, their spirit guides will make sure that they get exposed. If they do that shit, they cannot hide from spirit guides. Um, so it's like one of those energies. It's like, they will get exposed. They will, they will say some shit to the wrong person and it will go very badly for them. They will lose friendships. They could lose a job. They could lose or or they could just get demoted from a job. Maybe, maybe you know, you'll get the position instead. Something like that. Like, it's just really going to not go well for them if they go down that path. Um, but yeah, the betrayal is different for everyone. But, but whatever it is, it's like something good that you're meant to manifest, that you're meant to have, that you know about, I feel. And they're trying to block that well maybe able, I don't they're not going to be able to block it and I feel like they're going to have really bad karma if they try to block it justice yeah I I feel like whoever this um Wherever this offer was coming from that they're trying to, uh, whether this was like a love offer, a money offer, a new, new hobby, new, new, new venture, whatever it might be. I feel like divine justice is on your side. Like whoever was going to offer you this is going to move away from this third party energy. Like they're going to move away from the gossip and the drama and whoever was trying to, to block this and move towards you, the Queen of Cups. They're going to be like, no, the Queen of Cups is the one deserving of this offer. Um, so this person might cause a little bit of a bump in the road. And I'm sorry, I know I said I was going to look into what happens after that betrayal, but I, I mean, this reading is almost like, it's like 43 minutes long. I don't want to do like an hour and a half long reading so I'm gonna probably do a separate video for that one as well it's just it's a it's a whole storyline you know what I mean like those of you that have been with me for like the past few weeks like it's been a continuation you guys know how it is it's not it's not like there's just one little energy and that there's that's it it's like there's there's more and more and more to this story you know it could go on for for hours and hours and hours so, um, I do apologize though. Usually I, you know, if I say I'm going to, if I say I'm going to do that in a reading, like usually I, I try to get to all of it, but it's just that portion of the reading ended up being way longer than I anticipated. So I'm probably going to do a separate reading, um, within the next couple days on that apology on like what that's going to look like after this. So, and if this resonates with you, I would subscribe because again, we're going to continue the storyline we're going to see what happens after all this, after this betrayal, whatever it is, I feel like it's something that you are going to have anxiety about. I'm sorry to say it is going to hurt. There is going to be a lot of trust broken. If you're feeling detached from this person lately, it could be because of this betrayal because like you're feeling it coming and your spirit guides are protecting you from being too heartbroken over it. Like you're going to be sad, but they don't want you to like be, you know, completely torn to pieces over it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, in the near future, we're going to look into that apology, like probably within the next couple days. I don't want to leave you guys hanging for too long. Maybe even the next day, maybe even like after this, I might end up doing that. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's where I feel like the storyline is at right now. 
Um, justice is on your side. I just want to say, like, I, I mean, I know that was kind of a heavy, kind of a dark reading. I just want to put it out there that, like, you know, this person is not going to be able to block you from something that's meant for you. They can create a bump in the road that makes it a little more complicated. But if something's really destined for you, like, you're, it's going to be yours still. But you're going to have to move through this block, whatever this ends up being for you. Again, there's different scenarios here. Um, but, but, yeah, divine justice is on your side. So they're going to get exposed for this they're they might have like a plot in mind and they're going to end up looking really bad and they're going to someone's going to realize that someone's going to recognize that they were lying about you or that they were trying to sabotage you i feel like there might be like a higher up that realizes what they're doing and they're going to be pissed off this higher up could be a boss it could be a front like someone in the friend group that's just of, of high ranking. This could be someone in the spiritual community. This could even be like a spirit guide. I mean, there are spirit guides that are involved in this. So, you know, but it could be a, could be all of the above. Take it as it resonates. But someone of, of high ranking is going to um, see the truth. And there's no, there's no way to, there's no loophole for that. There's no way that they're, they're going to make sure that they get caught up, that they get exposed if they do something to really deeply betray you. Like, it's, it's going to be brought to light why they're doing that, I feel. Um, or they're just going to end up looking bad somehow. Like, someone's, you know, it, 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 I just feel like there's karma at play. Like, they're, they're not going to get away with it, whatever it is. I feel like... For some, I mean, for some, this is chaotic and you're probably thinking like, well, what did I do to deserve, deserve this? But I, I feel like for some, you, your prayers are being answered in a very chaotic way. Like, I almost feel like maybe you pray, like you care about this person. So I feel like for some of you, like you prayed for this person to get on a better path. You, you prayed, like you saw the good in this person and you, you, you love them or care about them. So you prayed for them to get on a, on a higher path to maybe to answer a spiritual calling or you prayed for them to heal themselves or you prayed for them to get more in touch with their emotions and express their emotions to you more. And this is part of that path. It's just coming about in a very chaotic way. It's a tower moment. So unfortunately, you had to be part of that tower moment, but the tower is honestly going to be even worse for them than it is for you. So it's like you are getting betrayed, but... And I'm not saying it's justified, but I'm I'm saying it's it's it sounds strange, but it's an answer to your prayers for this person. The path that like you were hoping that they would, you know, again be more emotional, more vulnerable, heal themselves, work on themselves, make an effort towards you, towards bettering their life, towards, you know, whatever. And and this is an answer to your prayers. It's the the answer to your prayers is this tower moment, this betrayal. Because this betrayal, your um It's, it's almost going to hurt them as much or even more than it hurts you because they're going to feel so much guilt and they're going to see the pain in your eyes. They're going to do this, I almost feel impulsively, like they're going to have a bad day or they're going to be angry and they're going to be frustrated because they haven't been able to get your attention and it's like they just throw something out there or they're just like prideful and they don't want to admit how they feel about you. And it's like, they're going to do something, but they're going to have to see the look in your eyes, the pain in your eyes. You're not going to be a crazy bitch. You're not going to, you're not going to give them the reaction they were hoping for. You're not going to, um, you know, chase them or do whatever. You're just going to be heartbroken. You're going to, they're going to see it in your eyes. I'm just seeing something about your eyes. Like there's something about just, they're going to feel your pain. They're going to, they're going to sense your pain. They're going to acknowledge that pain. It's like they're going to feel that feeling of like, wow, like I was this woman's safe space. Like this woman really had the best intentions for me. She had my back. She wanted to support me. She wanted me to support her. She had genuine love for me. She was one of the realest people in my life and I let her down. I betrayed her. Um, it's like there's going to be almost like a sense of loneliness in your eyes that's going to hurt this person. I hope that makes sense. It's it's almost like what I'm channeling is like this energy of um 
like how do I explain this? It's like they're going to something's going to happen that's going to make them recognize that you really felt safe with them. I don't think that they knew that before. But I almost feel like this betrayal is going to reveal that somehow where they're going to recognize that like you actually felt very safe and at home and just at peace with them, that you really loved them. You know, they didn't think that they could be your safe space or your your happiness or your peace. So they tried to sabotage those things in your life and just get you to take this small offer because they felt like it was all they had to offer. And they're, they're going to recognize something's going to make them recognize that they already were your happiness. Like they already were your safe space. They already were your peace. They already, you already felt that way about them. They were just so convinced that they could never give you those things, you know, so they had to compete with anyone and anyone who could offer you that, you know, but, but it's like, they're going to, they're going to recognize. It's like, you already felt that way about them. You already, it's almost like a sense of loneliness I'm feeling too, where it's like you really just felt like you needed them too. They don't realize that you need them too, that you you have that same, those same abandonment issues, those same fears, those same um, traumas, you know what I mean? It, it's like something's going to happen where they're like, it's like, it's like something about your pain. You're not gonna, I don't feel, I feel like it's gonna be like, you're just really gonna be heartbroken. Like, I don't, I don't think you're even gonna get mad at this person. I think you're just gonna be really fucking sad, honestly. And it's like that pain is gonna really, they're gonna have to feel it, whether it's telepathically, you know, through dreams or whether it's face to face, seeing that look in your eyes, whatever it is. And they're gonna be like, damn, like, she really didn't feel alone with me. Like I was one of the few people she trusted. I was one of the few people she counted on. I was one of the few people that she really just needed me. And when, when she needed me the most, I let her down and I hurt her more than other people, more than anybody or whatever, you know, it's like, that is going to hurt him to his core. Um, he is going to feel so much guilt and so much self-hatred but that is going to be the catalyst for this man. It's going to trigger him because he's going to be like, shit, I need to change. Like he's going to hate himself for what he's, for whatever this betrayal is. He's going to hate himself for the pain that he causes you. And I feel like that's just going to trigger him into this whole spiritual awakening where he's like, I have to change myself. I don't ever want to do that to someone again. I don't ever want to be that person again. Like, like he's going to feel so much guilt He's going to feel so much anger at himself. Um, and it could even trigger like a dark night of the soul and then a spiritual awakening, you know, take it as it resonates. But it's going to make this man do some soul searching and really ask himself the important deep questions like, who do I want to be? Like, who am I? Like, when did I get like this? Like, what made me like this? Like, when did I become this person? You know, I feel like he's going to really do some deep shadow work, some deep purging. Um, he's going to have to. He's going to feel so much self-hatred and guilt that he's going to have to. You know what I mean? For hurting you like that. But um, anyway, in the next reading or in like a very near future reading, we are going to look into the apology because I do feel like this man is going to end up apologizing to you. So we're going to look into how that's going to play out as well. But um, anyway, this ended up being really long. So I'm going to put this out there for you guys. Uh, thank you for watching.